So this video I'm creating is as a result of popular demand. So most persons have been asking how do I do change of name when you come over to the UK. My main aim of creating this particular video is to guide you through how you could successfully do change of name when you come over to the UK. For many immigrants, most especially for the female married ones, when you relocated, perhaps you your international passport has the surname, that's your previous surname, and you are thinking, how do I change this to my husband's name? How do I change it to my spouse's surname for different cultures that allows you to change it to your husband's name or as the case may be? And you are really puzzled on how to get this done. I was successfully able to change my my name for my father's name to my husband's name because my culture permits that and that is what i'm going to guide you through the step-to-step -step process you can take to get this done so stick with me to the end of this video so that you don't miss out on any of the details i'll mention that i've actually promised a lot of parents i'm going to make this video but the reason why i'm doing it at this time was because of a particular couple Victor and his wife OJ, they've really been on my neck and that's the reason why I've said I'm coming here now, I'm doing it. So if you are benefiting from the content I'm going to share in this video, know that it's because Victor asked for it, that's why it's made available to you. Before doing justice to the subject matter, for courtesy's sake, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Victor in Kuka. With this YouTube channel, I share lots about immigration updates. The UK visa and immigration update you need to know about. I also talk about life in the UK and from time to time I share about visa sponsorship jobs and scholarships that you can use to study abroad with ease. If this content interests you, you are welcome to join my lovely YouTube community. All you need to do is to tap on the subscribe button. Subscription is absolutely free. Tap on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that's how YouTube notifies you when I upload any amazing content that could guide you or anyone you know. So please consider sticking around with us in this channel because you're not going to regret it. Like this video for you're certainly going to get value from it. I'll try as much as possible to take my time to explain how I was able to get it done myself so you can learn from my experience and get this done as soon as possible. It's not as complex as many persons think. Most people used to think, Oh, let me just stick to my Sunday because I don't want to. They feel it's too complex and at some point they may lose their identity. Some persons will know them as this. It's not as complex as you think and just within the next few minutes after watching this video, you will believe this I just said. Talking about change of name in the UK, the first thing I want to emphasize is that to change your name, to change your Sunday most especially, you need a valid proof. Okay, you need a valid proof why you were bearing this name and now you are bearing because they want to be sure that you are not a criminal who is just trying to change another name so that they won't be able to trace you. So they need a valid proof of that. And some people really underestimate the marriage certificate. Your marriage certificate is very powerful. It's a very powerful proof. Back in my home country where I relocated from, when you get married, sometimes you have to swear an affidavit to say that you are changing your name. And after that, you do a newspaper publication. In this country, when I came, I brought the newspaper publication. Many times when I presented the newspaper, they just said, what's this? It's not necessary. I need only your marriage certificate. So your marriage certificate is very important. Let's say you relocated on a work visa like me, or you relocated on a student visa, and you relocated with your surname. So currently, let's say your international passport bears your surname, and then some of your ID cards bears your surname. Your BRB card certainly bears what your international passport because it's the name that you had at the time of applying for visa, that's the name it has. So how about a little story of myself? When I relocated to the UK, I actually got married in April. At that time, I already got a job. So my job had my father's name and I, I still fell among the category of person. I was so scared. I said, if I now change my name all of a sudden, hope they will not hold me at the embassy and the lights. So I said, let me come here. But now I really know that those things were not necessary. Still, I was able to change it here. So when I came, my passport had my father's name, okay? My BRB card had my father's name. So when I came, I was bearing my father's name, the son name. But officially, I was married. And my culture allows you that when you are married, you take on your husband's name as your last name. So I brought my marriage certificate here. Now, this is what I did. First of all, the first thing I did was to inform my employer. So even though my certificate of sponsorship was bearing my son name, I just told them that right now my surname has changed. 
So I presented my marriage certificate. Like I said, I presented the newspaper publication and they said it wasn't necessary. So what they really took was my marriage certificate. So when they registered me, they did DBS with that son because immediately you come, they run a DPS on you. So when I gave them the marriage certificate, what they did was that they changed it on the system. They just gave me a form to fill, change of name. And there was reason almost at all the time. They are going to ask you, why are you changing your name? You need to be prepared of that. I just said it's because of marriage. Simple. You don't need so much explanation. Because of marriage, here is your marriage certificate as a proof. So they uploaded it. I said that bearing my son name is Okonkwo, and then my my husband's name, my husband's last name is Nkuka. So that's when I started bearing victory Nkuka at work. So that was the first thing I did. I changed it with the employer. Then later on, I found out that HMRC. If you if you're in the UK, you know what HMRC is. They are the people in charge of your taxation, national insurance. I found out that they had my details as a Okonkwo. Okay, so I had to follow up. That one you don't need to really disturb. Your employer can do it because they were the ones that supplied your details to HMRC. They are the ones that supplied your details and everything. You give them your NI, they submit it to them. So I had to follow up on that. They rectified it. So HMRC had my, has my name as Nkuka now. So that was the first step I did. My employer, HMRC. Then the second step was. When I gave birth in the UK, they were calling my baby by my father's name because here yeah, they wouldn't even just assume you have a husband, they would just start calling by the woman's name. So when I gave birth in the UK, at that time I've not I've not changed my name with the GP. So my child was bearing a Congo and they were coming to the hospital to say, Is that baby a Congo? I was like, What? Even when my father hears this name, he will not recognize it. <laughs> They're like, Baby a Congo? <laughs> We had all sorts of names in the hospital, bless the British. <laughs> Even some Africans really did not still pronounce the name well. But it was quite a funny experience trying to hear different versions of your father's name. So after that, I realized that I needed to change my name with the GP. So that's another major step you need to do. Most especially when you register with the GP, they ask you to provide a valid proof. And that valid proof at that time may be your international passport. If you watch my video about um, what you need to know if you are coming as a pregnant woman in the UK, one of the things I emphasize is the register with the GP. So I'm not saying that you should wait till you change your name entirely. Regist you can register with the GP with that name you have. But if you want to change it, you just go to the GP and tell them you want to do change your name. They will ask you where is the evidence. Give them your marriage certificate, okay? So give them your marriage certificate. But funnily, the G my own GP was the only one that asked for that newspaper publication. It was my G my GP was the only one. So the marriage certificate, I gave it to them. So they were like, which name do I put now? And I showed them this is how it is on the newspaper publication. And that's how they were able to change my name. So my my name at this time now has victory in Kuka with the GP. And if you change your name with the GP, it changes with NHS. So when you go to the hospital, they call you by that name. When you when they have when they issue prescription for you, you bear your son name. So at that time, you've done two steps. Now, the most valid way you can do change of name in the UK is what with the DVLA, the DVLA, the DVLA or DVSA in different parts of the UK. These are the driving agencies. These are the agencies that are in charge of the driving licenses in UK. I have told you in the previous video I did about how to apply for provisional driver's license. If you've not seen that video, go and see that video. Outside getting the provisional driver's license for the fact that you want to learn how to drive, it's on, another good thing about it is that it's a valid ID card. It's a valid ID card that you can present when you are applying for setting. If you are applying for a job and they ask you for proof of address, do you know one of those things you can present to them is your UK provisional driver's license because it has your, your address on it. And it's a photographic ID. Now, in December 2025, all BRB card expired. It becomes e-visa. A handy proof at that time would be your driving license or your provisional driving license. If you feel, oh, the network is bad, I can't assess my <laughs> proof of immigration, and you want to really show them, it's just going to be handy for you to just, this is it. And they know that because this DVSA, they're actually a very legitimate body. Before they issue you this, they've gone through checks. So if you're an illegal immigrant, they would have found out. So if you have this card in my hand, if you have this card, it means that 
they've checked through okay so it's an easy thing with your brb card presently if you're watching this video in 2024 why is still on with your brb card you can convert it all you need to do is to in addition to your brb card when you are applying attach your marriage certificate only when they are done they will send your brb card or your marriage certificate and this wonderful card we have your picture there and the wonderful card we have on cooker i can't really explain how much this has done for me with this card only having Nkuka Victory Oyeka Chiki, which is my full name currently. So it, there are many times when they will ask me to, I'm doing, I'm doing some applications online. Even my, my latest DBS, I did it with Nkuka Victory because the first DBS had my father's name. That was the very first one they did when I entered the United Kingdom before I started doing change of name. So with that, with the, with the latest DBS, that's my father's name. Why? Because the proof of identity I used for that one is what? My provisional driver's license. Not even a full driver's license. Provisional driver's license. So that's how far your provisional driver's license can take you. Even when I was filling the form, they asked, well, how many, pre do you have a previous son name? And I explained that I have a previous son name, Okonkwa, because they want to tra trace if when you were bearing that name, if you were a criminal. And now, maybe that's the reason why you want to change them so that they can't trace you. So this, if your if your records are clear, it is clear. Your marriage certificate is more than enough. Now some persons are still puzzled about what do I do now with this e visa. With e visa, know that change of name is going to be much easier with your uh, regarding BRP card and the likes. Like for my passport, the only thing I have not changed currently is my passport. However, if you want to do change your name from passport, the first thing you need to do if you're a Nigerian citizen, you need to do the NIN, the National Identity Number. You know the NIN you had, it had your father's name or something. You need to change it, okay? Search online for NIN centers around you. For me, I had to travel to North Ante because it was a closer city to mine. That's where I was able to... I went to do it for my little daughter and I paid the same amount to get a new NIN. They won't change this passport for you with just marriage certificate. You know how our country thing is. Their own is always different. I'm not saying that. So please, that NIN is basic. I know someone who went to L London to do passport change, wanted to do change of name. They sent the person back because there was no NIN. So even why the British are being very nice to do change of name with marriage certificate, our people is still asking for NIN. So if you are Nigerian and you are watching this, please do your NIN before you go and change. For me, the reason why I've not changed, I've done NIN, but I've not gone to embassy because mine is expiring in 2026. So I'm just waiting for... When I get there, maybe in 2025, I'll just do it. Then when I'm renewing, I'm renewing everything at this, you get at the same time. That's the reason why. However, I'm still using Nkuka despite this passport. So most times I don't use this passport for applications. I just have it because I need to have it. I use it for many other stuff. So please, these are basic things you can do to do your change of name. Don't be scared that they will mis misinterpret you. Some people will say, oh no, it's the, it's the, it's the Okonkwo victory that i gave visa and is the nkuka you are bearing no those things does not exist i had that fear initially that you immediately you can present your marriage certificate that that's the reason why you did change of name it does not apply so if that's your fear please banish it do your change of name if you have more questions you can use the comment section like i said this video was on popular demand and because mr victor and many others requested for it so that's the reason why I've come to do this. If you have further questions, I'm happy, I'm more than happy to use the comment section to really um, explain. And if need be, I can make a more detailed video for you. So that's it for now, guys. Do like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, support me, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost. You start on that subscribe button and like the video. Share to as many you think this may be of help to. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. For the meantime, stay blessed. Bye.